for you to go be small. King of the jungle, cause you're in an MO. Time for you to go overload. Eat your competition alive, cause you're in an MO. What's my competition? Only me. Go head to head with my enemies and smash them to smithereens. Calisthenics burning calories. Bring that fire ready to blow up. Now we're the kerosene. You're a fighter, you're a fighter. Never gonna give up, never gonna back down. Welcome into Beyond the Blitz <laughs> Halloween edition. That's right, spooky season just a couple days away. Craig O'Neill joined by, well, <laughs> Craig O'Neill? Did you not get the costume memo? Well, if you're going to be Lex Luthor, I've got to be the one and only, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? You ready for Clark Kent. There we go. <laughs> Even the muscles are busting through. I was going to ask, those are real, right? I mean, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Almost as real as the slate of high school football games. It's week nine of high school football season. That means just one week left after this of the regular season. Then we get to playoffs. In fact, let's get to our game of the week now. Meet me over here. Pulaski Academy playing host to Greenwood. You might remember this game as the one that last year was the state title game in the 6A. Greenwood won in the regular season last year. PA won at War Memorial Stadium. This one going down though at Joe B. Hatcher Stadium, a place that Pulaski Academy hasn't lost a game at since 2013. First quarter though, Kane Archer trying to change that himself. The Greenwood quarterback, he's got offers from everywhere, including Arkansas, despite being just a sophomore, makes it six nothing Greenwood. But Brandon Cobb's been pretty great too for PA. He slings it to Andrew Pfizer, shot in the arm there for the Bruin offense, seven to six. PA, but look, Kane Archer is going to go play quarterback at a very high level for a reason. His throws like this. Hits Landon Robbins for a big first down, and that sets up another big time throw. This one to Daniel Arrington. He turns the corner, finds the corner, finds the end zone. 13 to 7 Greenwood. And PA's offense starting to sputter a little bit. Greenwood's offense not so much. Archer to Arrington again. This time the simple crossing route ends up deep in PA territory. Archer now going to use his legs, making guys miss the stiff arm, twirling, twirling into the end zone. PA throws him in there for a touchdown. 20 to 7 Greenwood. Greenwood threatening to put this one away early, but on third down, that's Patton Wicker for PA, saving a touchdown. That turned a touchdown into just a field goal. Gave the Bruins a little bit of a spark, and they capitalized. Cobb hit as he throws, but still finds his man in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. And then PA with a chance to stop Greenwood. It's fourth and long. Archer says, why not just go straight to the end zone? Archer to Landon Robbins for a touchdown. Greenwood pulls away in the second half to win 58 to 33. And that sets up Little Rock Christian versus Greenwood next week for the 6A West title. All right, let's take you down to Bryant. North Little Rock is paying a visit to the Bryant Hornets and you're gonna watch a young man by the name of James Bryant on a short run. But look, Bryant's a lot more explosive than that. How about this one? A completion out of bounds. Can we get a touchdown, please? We're looking, we're looking. There's James Martin again. He's got it. Touchdown, Bryant. They take an early 7-0 lead. You would see a lot more of that coming up as Bryant would just ruin North Little Rock's night. Bryant is looking like they're gaining some momentum as they head into the playoffs. I mean, this is a team and this is a program that's used to taking on the hardware, Tyler, and taking on the championships. Look at this. They've got it going on. And a lot of times with a deep pass like that, the defensive back is at a disadvantage. He doesn't know the ball is coming. The receiver goes back to get the ball, and it leads to a Bryant touchdown. In the final, 50, what is it? Let me look at the 52 to 21. Had to do a little auditing there. Bryant wins it big. Yeah, that used to be a game, Bryant North Little Rock, that you'd then see in the state title game almost every year. Now the one a lot of people are expecting, maybe Bryant Conway. They'll play in week 10 next week. But first, Conway on the road at Jonesboro last night. First drive, Donovan Mamolo doing what he's been doing for three years with the Wampus Cats, throwing touchdowns. That one went to Jacavion Jackson. Next drive, Omolo goes to Jackson Anderson. And just like that, it's 14-0 Wampus Cats. Keep it going, first quarter. Another Conway drive, another Conway touchdown. Donovan Amolo to Chris O'Neill. And look, 
Everyone talked about the Buck James move in the offseason. Going from Bryant to Conway, what's it going to mean? It's not like he was starting with nothing. Donovan amolo has been slinging it for years now, showing you why. Put on a show against Jonesboro last night. All right, it was 28-0 at the end of the first order for Conway. Jonesboro trying to get something going to start the second quarter. Instead, that ball is just hung up there a little too long. It's Conway coming down with the interception. And not just an interception, Jonah Cecil, he's going to make a man miss there and take it to the house. 75-yard pick six. Not that the offense needed help, but the defense scoring too. Everyone's scoring for the Wampus Cats. 35-0 after that. It was 42-6 at halftime. 49-6 the final score. That sets up Bryant versus Conway next week for a 7A Central Championship. And welcome to the Walker White Show, ladies and gentlemen, being brought to you by the University of Auburn, who hopes to make Walker White a household name while he's there. This is Walker White with the ball, throwing for a completion to Cade Bowman as Little Rock Christian takes on Greenbrier. Well, Little Rock Christian's on a roll, right? This is early in the game. Walker White rolling left. He finds Peyton Brown. Touchdown, Little Rock Christian. It is 7-0. Uh, Greenbrier. Wouldn't do much on the next possession, so let's just show some more Little Rock Christian highlights as you're going to watch Jackson Ward coming from nowhere into the end zone. It is now 20, I think it's 21 to nothing or 14 to nothing at this point. Uh, by the way, Tristan Watson's family's watching. They want to see a highlight. You're going to get one after the fumble recovery for Little Rock Christian, taking it away from Greenbrier, and we bring up Tristan Watson. He's going to, as Walker White finds him, he's going to take it and skip <laughs> into the end zone. <laughs> it was a skip show, and uh, I, w I think Greenbrier would rather the, na the game get skipped. Here's the final as you watch Walker White score. 55-7, to seven, Little Rock Christian beats Greenbrier. And that sets up a big-time matchup next week. Little Rock Christian versus Greenwood for a conference title. Conference title on the line in week nine, though, in the 2A1. Bigelow hosting Conway Christian, second quarter. Long fourth down for the Eagles. Jaron Thomas almost picks it up. Stop just short defense. The name of the game in this one gets the people, well, at least one person on their feet. All right, I said defense name of the game, things like this. That pass is intercepted by Bennett Wilson. Look at that, another pick six. All kinds of defense turning into offense across Arkansas last night. That made it 7-2 Panthers. That would be the score at halftime. Like I said, good defense. Let's not say bad offense. Let's say good defense. Why not? A little under three minutes to play in the first half now. Bigelow trying a little bit of that offense, though. Rhett Newmeyer finds Martel Macon for a short gain. A couple plays later, Newmeyer to Ryan Hobbs. That's not a short gain. He goes inside, then cuts back out. Finally chased down after a big gain. They get all the way down to the three-yard line with three seconds left to go in the half. But a bad snap means they go away into the halftime break without a score. Bigelow wins it by a final score of 22 to 15. And that's a wrap on week nine, the second to last week of the high school football season.